you know, people are worried deeply about jobs. You've made some prediction about loss of white collar jobs. Um, and of course, all the multimodal AI systems that you're speaking about are being embodied in robots. Uh, there is a number of uh, fantastic uh, humanoid robot companies coming out of China. China needs robotics uh, for its aging population, right? The one child policy has significant um, implications for an aging population. Uh, right. Talk to me about, you know, how should people think about jobs, white collar jobs, and then labor with humanoid robots coming? And what should, what do they tell their kids? What do they, what do they do for themselves? How do you think about that? Well, I think the fact is that the um, white collar jobs are going to be the first set most challenged by AI because just software can replace a lot of the routine and even non-routine work, and they will do so very rapidly in the next five years. Um, that's, I think, now universally believed. When I wrote about it in my earlier books, it was um, um, met with a mixed reaction. So the yeah, people were surprised. Everybody work. expected. Yeah, everybody expected it was going to be blue collar work leaving first. Yes, yes, right. Because it seems you know, uh, having intelligence in a white collar job is harder to replace. But it turns out dexterity is harder to replace because that's not necessarily solved by the Gen AI uh, technologies. So blue collar work, I think, going from factory to the type of caring work you talked about for elderly is um, is going to happen as the next wave. I'm among the l more conservative on how fast that will happen because I think these technologies are very expensive. Not only do you need the LLM expense, but also uh, these robots um, that Elon Musk has shown are way out of um, any consumer's price range. So they're kind of um, going to be a while because before the the kinks are worked out before people accept them into their families and lives and offices, and the costs have come have to come down. You say that, but you know, I wouldn't. You know, I'm an investor in Figure AI, uh, Brett Atcock's company, and Figure and Tesla both are projecting around a thirty thousand dollar price tag. Let's say it's forty thousand dollar price tag. Mm -hmm. If you could right. lease that, right, and you lease it at three hundred or four hundred dollars per month, having a 24 seven um, employee for uh, $400 a month is, is pretty affordable. Yeah, I can, I can see your point. I can see your point. <laughs> I, I'm still a little more cautious because, you know, especially used around the home, you know, the, uh, the uh, just clean my room is one thing that I would predict in three years, this robot cannot even begin to do because every room is different. Every definition of clean is different. And, mm. Every family home is different, um, but there are mother, many other things, you know, like um, uh, talking to the kids or uh, doing more household repetitive work that that can be done. Um, Thirty thousand, I think, is probably a reasonable price point for um, middle class America, but for China, India, other countries, it's still way too expensive. 